Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. In this video, we'll draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of cantilever beam with uniformly varying loading. In the previous video also, we have the uniformly varying loading, but uh, the type of the force is different. Here, the uniformly varying load starts zero at the fixed end and end at W per unit length at the free end. Take a section, say x at a distance x from the fixed end. In the previous video, we have taken the section at from the free end, but here we will take the section from the fixed end for the simplicity of the calculation. Because if you take the section from the fixed end, the section will be a triangular section. We can calculate the load easily. Get the reaction force Ra and the moment. The moment will be like this here Ma. We have to calculate this. Ra will be equal to the total applied load that is the area of the triangle which is half into base is L and height is W. So WL by 2 and the moment Ma be equal to the total load which is WL by 2 into the CG distance. You know the CG if it is a CG uh, the total load will go through this CG. It cuts in 2 is to 1. So this distance will be 12 by 3 to this and this distance will be L by 3. So MA will be the total load into the CG distance here from here. So this is 2L by 3. So the MA is WL square by 3. Now we have to calculate the shear force and bending moment of this section. So SFX will be the total vertical load here is RA. So RA minus total load of this triangle which is half into base is x and height say this height is w1 we have to calculate w1 from the similar triangle so this big triangle and this small triangle are similar triangles so w this height by total length l will be equal to this height w1 by its base which is x so w1 equals to wx by l so here it is ra ra is wl by 2 minus half to x w1 which is wx by l so the shear force equation will be wl by 2 minus wx square by 2l bmx you see at this section ra is creating a moment like this so ra into the perpendicular distance is x then the moment for this area which is in opposite direction so it will be negative the total load of this area which is half into base is x w1 which is wx by l into the cg distance so the cg of the small triangle will be something here and the distance from the section this distance will be x by 3 x by 3 and this reaction moment which also be negative so simplify this so we got the moment equation now we have to put the value so at the fixed end here x will be 0 so shear force will be wl by 2 minus 0 wl by 2 bending moment will be 0 minus 0 minus wl square by 3 so minus wl square by 3 and at the fixed end 
where x equal to l s f will be w l by 2 minus w l square by 2 l so it is 0 and bending moment is w l square by 2 minus w l cube by 6 l minus w l square by 3 so you get The shear force is 0 and here W L by 2. It will be parabolic curve and it is positive. This value is W L by 2. And the bending moment is 0 at the free end and minus W L square by 3 at the fixed end. It is a cubic curve. It is a negative. The value is W L square by 3 here. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. See you in the next video.